One of the perks of my job is that people ask me to do cool stuff, like celebrity review holidays. This time it's a cruise ship and they've very kindly asked me if I'd like to bring some friends along. Brought Rachel on because number one, she's a great traveller, but I also want to get a mum's perspective. When I think about a cruise ship, I think boring, there's going to be nothing to do, but I guess it gives me a chance to work on my sun tent. And I've kind of tricked Rosso into coming too. So when Tom told me we were going to the South Pacific, he didn't say it was on a bloody cruise ship. If I wanted to hang out with old people, I'd go to a retirement village. Looks like these guys need a bit of convincing. But me, growing up, I always wanted to be a ship's captain. So my mission on this cruise is to meet the captain. Believe me, this isn't going to be just any cruise. This is a journey into a world surrounded by water. A world where their lives are no longer their own. At times, they stumble and fall, only to rise again, where battles will be fought. I was just thinking about when I can fire the rockets. And friendships formed. A journey beyond your imagination. When Todd, Rach, and Rosso go cruising. Well, team, isn't this exciting? Yes. All of us on holidays together. Yay! Wow. Cheers to us. <laughs> I want to just fill you in on what I've got to do, OK? While we're on board, dear Tom. Hi, Tom. Thank you for agreeing to feature as our monthly celebrity travel reviewer. Review. We would like you to experience a cruise through the South Pacific for 10 days. The ship is newly refurbished Ooh. and has many unique activities that we need you to review honestly. Listen to some of these yep. ship facts. 10 pools and whirlpools, 14 elevators are on this ship. Does one of them take me home? <laughs> That's a good one. Don't egg him on, okay? So what about some activities? Bingo. Sunbaking. Looking at old people. Swimming. Going home. Mate, come on, man. I've got to review this. OK. What are we doing? Rock climbing. What? Yes, that's right. Rock climbing. Hundreds of Ks out to sea. It's unreal. And there's one of these on every ship in the Royal Caribbean fleet. I'm an agile guy, but it's a bit early in the piece for extreme sport, isn't it? How are you doing? All right. How are you doing, guys? What can we do for you? Hey, well, how much is this going to cost us? Oh, nothing. All our sports activities on the ship are completely complimentary. You guys want to raise each other? I love a competition, especially against Rosso. You know, he's not the competitive guy. I'm an adrenaline junkie. I've got to admit, I like things that scare me and frighten me, and I love physical challenges. <laughs> I sound like a contestant in a reality show. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Right. Light walking. I do this every weekend. Suckers, let's go. All right. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Rosso got off to a great start. There's no doubt about it. He actually took me a little bit by surprise. I think I got up about three or four notches, and then my, one of my feet slipped out from under me. I'm looking around. And then Tommy, he's behind me. And there's fear in his eyes because I'm winning. I'm winning. Finchie comes up pretty quick. You've always got to keep an eye on her. She's a bit of a dark horse. Suddenly there's a few issues. And uh, I think I'm going to fall. The bell's in reach. I see the rip cord. I know what I'm going to say. And you just got to start ringing the bell. Hey, be a winner! to be a winner. Well, I'd like to say that um, I'm not angry about it, but I don't lie very often, but I'm angry. I'm so disappointed in myself. I should have won. The view at the top is spectacular. You have 60 metres above the ocean, spin around, take it all in, and just 
taste the sweetness of victory. A little present for you. We got some real Royal Caribbean medals. So there's a gold one for you. Beautiful. Silver for you. Thank oh, you. Sorry, buddy. Hands off the gold. They gave me a stupid medal, a bronze one for coming last. And I got a silver. You guys have awarded me the gold medal. Sweetness. Hey fellas, is there any place we could go and relax now? Yeah, sure. You can go to the promenade on deck five. Awesome. It'll be Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Enjoy fellas. It. We're now off down to the Royal Promenade, which is really good because it's one of the places that I have to review. I'm open-minded while maintaining a closed mind. Rosso, get ready to blow your mind. Woo! Wow. This is a four-story high. Footy fields worth of pubs and cafes and shops. You could be anywhere in the world and you're on board a ship. It's pretty amazing, but what's over there? It's a pub. I think I'm gonna go here. You gonna have a beer? Yeah. Do you want one, Tommy? I'm gonna have a beer anytime. Let's go and check things out. Let's no, he's, he's just waved at me. See ya. I look at Rachel and we have one thing on our mind. Shops? Yeah, okay. let's go have a look. Knock yourself out. Hello, Hello, mate. Welcome to the way of the sea. Thank you. What do you like to have such a I'll have a pint. Thanks, Governor. Well, Tommy and Rach want to go shopping. Uh, not really my thing. Uh, that's really for the girls. So I'm just going to have a little beverage and relax and uh, enjoy the Royal Promenade. The range of shopping here is pretty impressive. If you're after something sparkly, something designer, or something not so designer, or somebody to help you meet the captain, the sales staff are very helpful. So we have this nice checked one here. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Listen, um, you don't know how I could get a seat at the captain's table, do you? Oh, don't know about that. She doesn't think it's a strong possibility. But I'm not going to give up. I will meet the captain. You, um... Cheers. It seems that my new friends are cruise enthusiasts. People who love cruising and they've been on about a million of them. We were actually on this self-same cruise last year. Why are you back? Um, Teenagers of forced us into it. Then. Oh, you kids. They have a fantastic time. He gets bored really easily. Right. And there's activities all day. Oh. Now, did anyone mention shopping is all duty free? Oh, yeah. Got all my gift shopping done in one hit. The mum, dad, daughter, husband, done. So as I'm sitting here having a beer, before I know it, there's barricades up, there's people everywhere. And the next thing, there's every DreamWorks character that my son absolutely loves. I may have got swept up in things emotively. Out of the corner of my eye, I spy the souvenir shop. This is like the Aladdin's cave of everything you want to take home off the ship. Cups, bling, something for the baby, shirts, hats, everything. But it's the replica model of the Voyager of the Seas. Very cool. That just takes me in. I'm like, I've got to buy this. And I know Rosso is going to love it. Shrek waved at me, Princess Fiona waved at me. Those ones from Madagascar waved at me. Some ones from another one that I didn't know waved at me. And then there was the lemur from Madagascar. The lemur might have kissed me. I might have kissed the lemur back. Things got a bit weird there. And as quick as it started, it's over. Everyone's gone. And there is no way that I'm telling them that I had a good time and, and, and that I danced with the lemur. We came out, and lo and behold, who's sitting there all on his lonesome, Poor old Rosso. How's the shopping, girls? Mate, have a look. I bought this model. Oh, ship. I couldn't stop him. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a boat. Tommy, we're on one. Let's it's go. A ship, mate. Come on. I don't know where this obsession with boating's come from, but it's uh, it's it's strange, and it's making me uncomfortable. It's got the jet skis. Absolutely this amazing. All comes back. Yeah, beautiful. Geez, you're a bit wobbly. How many beers do you have? <laughs> As we steer the good ship Rosso back into port. Up next, it's a pants down wipeout on the high seas. Plus, will Rachel steal my ship's captain dream? Has anyone ever pressed the horn before? I've been asked to review a cruise aboard Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas. And I've dragged along my anti-cruise mates, 
Rosso and Rachel along. Seriously, who wants to go on a cruise ship? There's nothing to do. It's my idea of the, the worst holiday in the world. But if this, or this, hasn't convinced them that this cruise is different, I reckon I know what might. Watch this, Tommy, just like Andre Agassi. Uh, he was a tennis player. Same thing, anyway, what's next, buddy? Oh, this is a good one. What else do you reckon you could do on a cruise in the middle of the ocean? Sun baking. Shuffleboard. What about surfing? What? Surfing? Huh? The flow rider is 12 metres of perfect rolling surf right at the back of the ship. It's like you're surfing smack bang in the middle of the ocean. And it's the only one at sea in Australia. Oh, this looks like fun. I don't know what the big deal is. It's just like a big spa. What? Big deal? Man, it's fun. Oh, it looks awesome. Turn it up to a 10. The boys push me forward, ladies first, so looks like I'm up. All I can think of is if she does better than me, everyone's going to be laughing at me again. And she lets me go and I'm literally on the wave, riding along while the ocean is going past me. It is an unreal feeling. That was fun. Sir, I give you this. All right. Relax. Hey, she's going, relax, relax. A woman's holding onto my fist. It's not a time to relax. And mums and dads, despite how Rosso makes it look, the flow rider is completely safe. Thank you, thank you. I was terrible at it. Yeah. I've done this before. But it's still a challenge, it's still really hard, and of course you've got all the pressure of everybody staring and watching you. Yeah, I thought you'd be better than the instructors given, you know, you talk, 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 talk. Oh. I went on one with the barrel and the pipeline, <laughs> and then you got on and you were barely better than Finchie. <laughs> oh, yeah. My instrument is not that longboard. I'm down on the boogie board. That's yeah. gonna be my thing. That was it. And you know, I, once I grabbed that thing, I was away. <laughs> to be fair, the flow rider's pretty awesome. There'd be something wrong with you if you didn't have a good time on that thing. Yeah. It was unreal. Oh, how good cool was that? Oh, that was amazing. So, good job, what, Tommy. What's next, Tommy? What's next? What's next? Ooh, okay, just a bit wet. Uh, Oh, guys, can you believe it? There is an ice skating rink on this ship. Ice skating? Really? Ice skating. I'll okay. meet you down there in five. Okay. Okay? Sounds All right. Good. Ice skating. From one extreme to the next. This would be interesting. Who's driving this ship at the moment? Who, who is driving the ship? I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. No First idea. officer, the give ship. me five. <laughs> and we're walking through to the ice skating rink, and who do we see? The captain. The captain. Oh, getting photos? Yes. Can yes, you... yes, 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 yes. I mean, the captain's the guy, right? Who wouldn't want a photo with him? And on every cruise, there's a chance for everybody to get an official photo with him. Hello. Captain. Hey. Yes. Awesome. How are you, buddy? Good, thank you. How are you? Rachel. You hey, got going? in the middle? In yeah. The middle. I hear you're you. reviewing the ship. Yes, we yeah. are reviewing the ship. Just up. Right on. How about uh, a visit on the bridge? Would that be good? That'd be amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Uh, and we're going to drive the boat, and you get to um, what do you want to do again? I honk the horn. Honky's horn. I mean, yes. honk the horn. Honk the horn. Can I drive? Oh, it? Yeah. Phenomenal. I think about that. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we should tell Tom. Do you think he'd be upset? You reckon? That's all he wants to do is meet the captain. Yeah. I walk into the ice skating rink for the first time and it's huge. As well as being the only ship in Australia with an ice rink for passengers to carve up, the rink also hosts a spectacular ice show. Throughout each cruise, 11 world-class skaters hit the ice with the Ice Odyssey. 
The costumes, they're sparkly. The specialty acts, they're special. And the stunts, dangerous. We're on a rolling ship, remember. It's a must see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, come on in, come on in. <laughs> Let's go and have a look of this beautiful view we have. Where this is bridge? amazing. Have wow. you seen anything better than that? I think he got one of the best offices in the world. Absolutely. I might have to bring my bed up here. <laughs> this is what you call a million dollar view. Yeah. The view is amazing. Mm. Absolutely extraordinary, like nothing I've ever seen before. And then he actually showed us all the instruments. We got to see all the navigation tools, talked us through how everything operates. See the little uh, round circle here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, the, that's our ship. We're going on the track line now up to uh, Numia. So what do we learn about the ship? It, um, it's the biggest one that operates out of Australia. Out of Australia. It's three football fields long. 4,000 passengers. Yes. Including the 1,000 crew. We even got to sit in the captain's chair. So comfy. Yeah, was yours good? Did you, yeah. have, did you recline? So you, you're probably wondering about those screens here now. What, what these are for, right? Not really. I was just thinking about when I can fire the rockets. <laughs> Just, uh... Yeah. Suits me, I reckon. Yeah, I... In the captain's chair. I, could, I could easily sit there for the day. Well, it's safe to say, Rach and Rosso are uh, doing a no-show. So, alone onto the ice I go. Everything's going really well, the confidence is up, and I meet a really nice lady called Jo, who's helping out her little daughter in front of her. What do you love so much about cruising? I think it's really just the fact that it suits the whole family. So, yeah. um, you know, we've previously, when we cruised with the Royal Caribbean, we've cruised with my parents. So, uh -huh. you know, they're late 60s, early 70s. Yep. And this one, it's just us as a family, and it's the same. <gasps> Has any anyone ever pressed the horn before? You want to do that? Can I? Go for Four it. Methods. Just press it and hold it. Press and hold. Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one. Hear that, Russell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, turn it off now. You're scaring people. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Tommy can hear that. <laughs> I haven't seen uh, my friends. One is a, a kind of a, a shorter guy with a beard and an ex beauty pageant queen. No, I haven't, but you might want to check the pool deck. There's lots of people up there. Pool deck? Yeah. Good advice. See you around. Pretty disappointed that Rosso and Rachel didn't show up. They missed another great activity. Now the pool deck isn't just pools, oh no, it's also a massive outdoor cinema. There's movies every afternoon and evening. So either pull up a deck chair, or relax with a movie in the spa. Guys, where have you been? I've been looking for you guys all over the ship. Tommy, we're watching a movie. Have you seen this one? So good. No, I don't really have that much time for movies at the moment. Guys, I've been ice skating. Good. I thought you would come along. What have you been doing? Well, we met the captain. Oh, Tom. Such a nice bloke. We went, you to, met... we went to the bridge. Yeah, he yeah. took us to the bridge, and I got to, to steer the ship. I honked the horn. Twice. And you didn't bother to call me and say, dude, come and check this out. You would have liked it. It's pretty awesome. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, Tommy. Yeah. This movie is so good. Um, look, I've got to go and do some stuff, remember? Celebrity reviewer of the cruise and everything. I'll catch up with yeah, you guys no worries, later Tommy. in the bar. See you, buddy. Bye. Bye. I love this bit. So Rachel and I just smashed out a movie on the big screen while we were in the spa. It was fantastic. Unfortunately, Tommy turned up and we had to come clean about meeting the captain, but hey, he'll get over that. So I go back to my room to sulk, and my room's really cool because it's got this big virtual balcony. It's a big screen with a live feed. Now, whether you've booked an inside stateroom like Tom's or a panoramic ocean view stateroom with floor to ceiling windows or even the royal suite complete with the baby grand, all cabins have just been refurbished right down to the elephant folded linen. And me? Well, I'm in a balcony stateroom. And this one's a real balcony. Every single time I wake up in the morning, I am looking at something different. The balcony is also good because it gives me a little bit of me time and it allows me to have a moment there where at the end of each day I can just sit on myself and breathe. OK, Rach, take a deep, deep breath, because we're headed for a night out on the high seas. And it goes from the delicious to the ridiculous. 
Sailing the South Pacific aboard Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas. And OK, if all the rock climbing and surfing and ice skating hasn't convinced Rach and Rosso that this cruise isn't what they expect, I reckon a sunset and a night out just might. So I'm getting ready to meet the boys. We're going to have a little bit of a night out tonight. Hello, sir. How are you? Can I offer you something to drink, ma'am? Oh, yes. I feel like something fruity and orange. Good. Thank you. I told them all to meet me here at the bar. So I'm sitting at the bar because that's where Tom wanted us to meet. And then all of a sudden I get this text message. And that's when I realise. So I went to the wrong bar, apparently. We've all gone to the wrong bar. <laughs> There's so many bars on this joint. No one knows what's going on. It's, it's a disaster. It's not really a disaster. There are exactly 14 lounges, bars and clubs on the ship, so you'll be well watered on board. I text them back and we're all going to meet at the Japanese restaurant. Look, the ship's big, but they've got these touch screens everywhere. We want to go to Azumi. And you can find anything within no time and bang, you're there. Right up, let's talk food. Not only can you eat in the main dining room three meals a day, but there's also a huge buffet, great cafes and a bunch of specialty restaurants too. An American style diner, a classic steakhouse, family Italian, you can even get your cake decorate on. Take your pick, some are included in your fare, others are a bit extra. Tonight, it's Japanese. Can't imagine it's gonna be that great. Awesome Thank, you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, this looks beautiful. And the place is absolutely beautiful. It's exactly what you imagine a Japanese fine dining restaurant to look like. Maybe we get a bit of everything. We'll leave it in your hands. And uh, he promises some delicacies. And we're talking authentic Japanese. Sushi, sashimi, and something called hot rocks. Put those bum up. Oh. Yeah. This is cool. He tells us that this is what we'll be cooking our meals on, which is kind of cool because you don't really expect that. Japanese fine cuisine on a cruise ship is something I would not expect, so it was really nice to have a bit of a change. It was delicious. I ate too much. You know, there's apparently a great show on at the theatre tonight. Apparently it's fantastic. Ooh. Perfect, because I've got to go down there and review it. Yay! Let's all hang out. Let's see the show. Good. Perfect. The La Scala Theatre would be impressive wherever it was. Five storeys high, seating for 1,300 odd people. But remember, this is in the heart of a cruise ship. We walk into the theatre and it's classy. Lots of velvet, lots of style. And forget Vegas, baby. La Scala hosts some of the latest Broadway style shows and you don't even have to buy a ticket. But it's not just musicals, there's surprise acts too. Real surprise acts. Who's Rossiter? I don't know, did you tell him what, what time? I thought you were telling him the time. The lights go out. Yeah, everything's in darkness, then all of a sudden. <laughs> out he walks. Under the stage. The man himself. And the crowd goes mad. So when we were on the bridge with the captain, uh, we started talking about stand-up comedy. And so he said to me, do you want to do a show? And I said, look, you know, for you I will. Or maybe I asked him whether I could do a show. And the show we're doing, it's called Australians Who Go Mad Crazy at a Buffet. <laughs> and you're all in it. Well done! Like, seriously, I've seen people putting hash brands on watermelon. <laughs> he had the crowd in the palm of his hand the entire time. They just absolutely loved him. Thank you very much. You guys have been fantastic. We'll see you later. Thank you. Now, did I mention there's 14 bars on board? And when do you dance floor two? I'm more of a pub man, but I'll give the dance floor a hit. We're out of the town. Woo! Ship town. OK, 
okay before Rosso and I scare the kiddies with our moves. Up next, the cruise review continues as the South Pacific delivers all you'd expect. Plus, something you wouldn't. Mornings at sea on Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas. It's all leisurely strolls around the deck, right? Not if you're Finchy on the jogging track. Or this lot, it seems, either. And Rosso, this ain't no retirement village, no matter how old you are. As for me, this bacon and eggs is just what I need. Bit of a late night last night. And I think the young man next to me also had a bit of a late night. Did you enjoy the pancakes? Are they good? Yep. Are you having fun on the cruise? Yep. Right. Oof. All of a sudden, mayhem takes over. Sort of looking around, going, what's going on? Right next to me, Shrek appears. Hi, Shrek. And he's had a big night too. He's gone green. The waiter lets me know that this is actually the DreamWorks breakfast, especially for kids. You've got Shrek, you've got Puss in Boots, Fiona, they're all making appearances, dancing. Oh, no chocolate milk, Puss. Without a doubt, the kids will remember this for the rest of their lives. Now, it depends on which cruise you're on as to where you'll pull into port. Today, it's New Mia, the capital of New Caledonia. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. All right, guys, I'm not going with you. Seen one reef, seen them all. I'm going to go into town and, and check it out, OK? All right. I'll see you later Have on. Have fun. Bye. Let's go, Tommy. See, the day at port is all yours. You can stay on the ship if you like. Or, like old mate Rosso, just have a wander around. Or, like me and Rach, pay a bit extra and take one of the day trips on offer. We're off to the islands. Yay! This is our cup of tea, isn't it? Yeah. To get off a ship, to get on a boat, to get to an island, to sunbake. Have a little bit of a swim, yeah. look around, cultural feel. And if you want the whole South Pacific cliche, and really, who doesn't? This is it. Amity Island, half an hour from Numea, has it all. We want to experience those crystal blue waters and that white sand. First up, paddle, paddle boarding. boarding. We're paddling around and I can literally see the bottom of the ocean under my feet. It was phenomenal, so gorgeous. Yamiya is sometimes called the Paris of the South Pacific because of its French colonial history. Everyone's so friendly here and it also gives me an opportunity to uh, show off a bit of my schoolboy French. He does a good French accent, <laughs> but I don't know whether his ability to actually understand it. <laughs> he'll get un baguette, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, he'll, mercy, yeah, beaucoup. Fromage, <laughs> loves the cheese platter. Bonjour. Bonjour. How are you going? Good, thank you. It's a good place to get coffee. Oh, do you want me to order? Yes, please. Yvette, can I have a little coffee, please? What's that? It's got tuna, you have tomato, cucumber, carrots, and a whole lot of it marinates in coconut milk. Is it cooked, the fish? Half and half, it cooks in lemon. And do they sell that here? Yes. Do you want that as well? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, Yvette. Hey, I find myself a new mate. We're chatting up a storm, and before I know it, I'm eating a thing called Tahitian salad. This is very Tahitian, and we love it out here. Dig in. That's great. It's delicious, and then he offers to show me around town. This is the friendliest place in the world. It's everything you expect, you know, out of the South Pacific. Beautiful water, fish everywhere, 
tropical fish of all different colours and sizes. Mm. Very cute. You can see them just like all swimming around, little reef sharks. This turtle just swims up to my feet. It was such an awesome moment. I had goosebumps. I think everybody's having a really lovely time. Mm. I think a lot of them have enjoyed getting off the ship and giving it a bit of a break mm. and coming out and seeing some cultural aspects of the South Pacific. That yep. always goes down really well. Lots of nice company around yeah. us with other fellow passengers telling us about their lives and what they're up to. And they're just great people. First time you've been on the cruise? Um, first time I've been on this cruise, but yep. I've been on other ships before. This rate's pretty high up there. It's, it's a very good cruise liner. Yep. The, um, the ship's quite big, yep. a lot of entertainment. So, you know, it is very good. I would consider coming back again. There's an interesting blend of cultures in Numea, and I'm, I'm pretty keen to check out the colonial architecture, and I'm going to get Martin to show me around. And what's this suburb? This is called the Faubourg Blanchot. I love this. These little awnings that come over, it's so cute, so quaint. What you really get is this great hit of the French influence here in the Pacific, and that's what makes this place really special. I love the, I love the colours, and uh, you, you really get a sense of this mix of cultures. Oh, it's beautiful, mate. Good place to have a little. We each got pulled up to dance, which is always a fun experience. You've got to go with it. Yeah. Everybody's having fun. They're never going to like, you know, make you feel like an idiot or anything. As much as you do look like an idiot when you're up there, but <laughs> you know, it's it's just all a part of being mm. involved. Yeah! <laughs> all this walking around's made me a little bit peckish. So I have to ask Martin, where's the best place to get a snack? This is called Snack Shootist. What, so you've been coming here since you were at school. Yeah, when we were kids, we loved to come here. These are the menus if you want to see what, what they offer. Mate, I'm going to let, let you choose. You're the expert. I am? I'll get you a special one. Should I be worried? A little bit, but don't okay. worry. Let me take care of it. It looks like an American diner. I was a bit surprised. The Americans were here during the war, and they actually stayed for a very long time. Cheers. Cheers was a long years of presence that changed the city massively and impacted our culture in a way. Is what I'm going to eat healthy? Doubtful, but we did a lot of walking. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. I open it up, oh, that is the best. And in front of me is essentially a baguette full of burger and full of chips. Seriously, <laughs> amazing. This is heart attack material, but it looks delicious. So an American sandwich and a Tahitian salad, you're officially New Caledonian. Mate, it's really good. Well, Rosso, I have to be on I've had a great day with Martin. There's no better way to see a place than with someone who's a local. Time to give him a hug. I've got to go, Martin. The ship's about to leave. Thanks for showing me around. It's been great. It's my pleasure, Rosso. Come here, buddy. Come back anytime, okay? Mate, you know I'd love to. All right, buddy. I'll see have you, a sandwich ready for next time. It seems our cruise cynic comedian has found his softer side. But all that could change as he goes from beauty to ballerina. And has Tom finally found the captain? My mission, to review a South Pacific cruise aboard Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas. That's the easy part. The not so easy part, convincing that I don't want to cruise lights, Rach and Rosso, that this cruise isn't what they expect. Are you good at anything, Rosso? But I'm pretty sure they're coming around. All right, schedule man, Sh what is next? Okay, up next we have three options. Yeah. There's the adults only pool, yep. the kids play area, mm -hmm. and the day spa. I'll do the day spa. I want to do the day spa. I don't care. This I'm doing the day spa. we're going to settle it, okay? First person, to think a basket gets to pick. That's, I'll go first since I'm at All right, go for it. Oh! Whoops a daisy. Oh! Okay, watch this. The amazing thing about this is uh, basketball has never been my sport. In fact, I can't play basketball to save myself, so it was a fluke, really. 
but I'll take it. How are you? Wonderful, I'm ready to be pampered. You'd like to stay with Lauren, she's gonna be your therapist for the day. At the Vitality Spa, I could choose to have my hair done, or have a mani-pedi, or have my face wrapped in hot towels and shaved. But I'm here for a massage. I've got to choose which one I'm going to have. There's so many to choose from. All right, big question. Which treatment should I have? I think you should have the Ocean Spa seaweed wrap. It's amazing. All righty. Let's do it. <laughs> OK, follow me. It's a very technical process. It involves me taking my pants off. Then they put this seaweed cream stuff on me. That's really good. It certainly feel something happening. It's all going well until... OK, Russell, so we're just going to wrap you up. OK. I'm like the world's biggest kebab. This is one blissed out kebab. OK, so that's the end of our treatment, Rosso. I'll take you to the shower so you can wash it off. OK. The hardest thing about the treatment was actually getting to the shower. I feel detoxed, I feel relaxed, I feel a million dollars. So this cruise isn't the boring suntan fest I expected. But grown-ups, if you are looking for some peace and quiet with a chilled out pool away from the kids, the adults only solarium has a sun lounge with your name on it. Rachel's at the adults only pool and I'm off to the kids club, the biggest kid on the ship. And check this out, kids. The Adventure Ocean Club is just for you. There's a lounge to hang out in, a dance floor, and wall-to-wall -wall games. I walk in, and there's this kid dominating on air hockey. His name's Brad, and I thought, I'm going to take him on. Yeah! <laughs> He's good. I'll give him that. Good win, Brad. Touch him, Barris. Give us another shot. Okay. Got to get my honour back. Whoa! Dancing. Little does he know, I think I've got this one licked. I'm cutting moves, I'm pulling everything out, but I look over and there's Brad again, the master. He takes out the dance championship as well. Good game. Brad is an absolute legend for showing me around the adventure ocean. Well, that is it. Review list complete. I think we've all learnt some pool time. Rosso, Tom and I decided to wander through to the main pool area. We looked down and it was just mayhem. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the pool deck for the world's sexiest man competition. <laughs> and we thought to ourselves, this is going to be fun. It's going to be the best thing ever. What better than seeing a bunch of guys being completely humiliated yeah. in front of a cauldron of people? Yeah. And we are looking for a few more contestants who want to take part in this. No! No! I could have killed her. They're in the competition. <laughs> I secretly want it in. And wouldn't you know it, I end up as a judge. <laughs> My name's Tom and I'm from Australia. From Australia. Yeah. Now, as you know, I've got some moves. Though so luckily, the first round is a dance-off. The moves I was doing, you know, the right. signature moves, yeah. weren't working. Yeah, you did all right. Not as good as me. Next round, push-ups. And I thought, look, I might quit while the going's good. The competition was hot. You disappeared. Tom, get over here. You left me. You were holding your own. I was doing all right. And then the all-important question round. If you could be any item found in a grocery store, what would you be? Banana, because they're very good for you, apparently. If you could be any beverage, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, what would you be and why? I'd, I'd be solo because you could slam me down fast. It's a tough decision, but bronze medal goes to... And Ponytail has the third place title. Oh. I don't want to brag, but I'm going to, but that's the taste of silver. <laughs>
second sexiest guy on the boat. It sounds like you've really turned the corner. Well, I, okay, I'm, I'm having a better time. I'm having a better time. That's because I came second in the beauty contest. I'm high on my own supply of awesomeness. It's been a cracker of a cruise, but have Rach and Rosso truly been converted? And are my dreams of meeting the captain really over? Rachel Rosso and I are aboard Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas. And this cruise has thrown up more than a few surprises. But Tommy, I don't think they're over yet. So tonight is a formal night and it's really, really exciting because we all get to dress up a little bit, feel nice. Hello. And we walk into the dining room and it looks absolutely stunning. That's amazing. It's certainly a fabulous throwback to the glamour of travel from the old days. Absolutely amazing. The Sapphire Dining Room is complete glamour. And it's a massive operation. In fact, it's the biggest restaurant in Australia, seating nearly 2,000 people at a time. Not every night is formal, but tonight there's something very special in the air. Tom has no clue what is about to happen. Our captain-obsessed Tom is in for the surprise of the cruise. OK. <coughs> Tommy. Good evening, Tom. Very nice to see you. Captain. Welcome to the table. I heard a lot about you. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, this is great. Good to see you, Captain. Good to see you, too. Thank you for yeah. having us on your wonderful table. See what I did, my friend? I'm a little starstruck, yeah, okay. actually, yeah. You weren't supposed to dress as the captain, though. Well, I'm like, this can't be happening. It felt great to, to, to see how excited he was. All of my dreams have come true. I'm a confirmed cruiser. You are on the best ship, you have to remember that. The best ship. Yeah, the biggest and the best ship. And the best captain. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> and that, my friends, is mission accomplished. Or as they say on the high seas, full steam ahead, men. We're on our way home. Friends, our time is nearly up. I've had a total blast. My top three experiences, Flow Rider, ice skating. The only ship which has an ice skating rink. But you know what my number one thing was. Yes, I do, me doing stand-up. No, Rosso, <laughs> it was very close, but the captain's table. Yeah. Oh. It was a lovely surprise. Thank you, friends. I like that there was something for everyone to do. There was an awesome mix of food, fitness, fun, Definitely can see myself taking my family back here. But a highlight for me, day trip to Amity Island. I don't know whether you noticed, I was a little bit cynical getting on board. Slightly. Yeah, well, when the DreamWorks parade started when I was sitting at the pub, that's when I realised that there was something going on. For me personally, obviously, doing stand-up was great. That 1,300-seat theatre is a beautiful theatre. Brilliant show. That was a real buzz. Thanks, mate. Right, you guys made fat And I really like the community. I love how everyone chats and you're talking to people, you're making new friends. We're all in the same boat. You've but it's really a done the full circle, haven't you? Right, I love it. Good on you, man. Thanks, buddy. Pretty safe to say we're all converted cruisers I now. Think, I think Absolutely. so, Absolutely. You've hit the nail on the head there. You'll be homesick and frightened, but the pride of the fleet will be you. Today's pride of the fleet is you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs>